are you doing, PDs? These guys just got 10 liters of tomatoes from the greenhouse. The greenhouse is still full, but a lot of it is turning bad now. So they're getting 10 liters of tomatoes. And they're still acting hungry. They had food, they had breakfast this morning. They had some food scraps, and they had 10 liters of tomatoes. And look at these guys, they are real pigs. Yes, you are. Real pigs. And in less than two weeks, we are going to be making sausage and ham and bacon on the homestead. Yeah, yeah. I'm inside our um, brooder house here. Um, we were actually able to get our chicken flock going again that had been so yeah almost destroyed by a um, predator attack and I was able after three months to get him to lay again we now um, hatched another batch of chicks as you saw and I'm getting the brooder ready here right now so you guys know that I am always putting them in these round things for the first three weeks and you see how high this is. This is um, 50 centimeters um, thick of deep bedding. And I just put some water on the old deep bedding right here. And now I put fresh uh, wood shavings on top. I stirred this a little bit to get oxygen in there. Now we actually have um, a really nice deep bedding and this is gonna produce heat. I'm actually gonna come back here tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon and check for you guys just to see how warm it is to prove to you that floor heating in deep bedding really works now guys this here is right next to the greenhouse it's the hay field that I mowed um, the last days in May I thought I would get a second cut never got a second cut because of the drought but I have had some regrowth now that the rain has come and you see I'm doing rotational grazing here now um, cattle is fenced in just this area here and as I move them down here now I have been able to calculate already how much grass I have how many days I have left right here and this should take um, this this should be around 18 days of grazing on this hay field and then I should have about 20 more days down on another field and um, that's just that's just so nice to know um, with these daily moves um, I actually had them over there and I wish I could have had them there a little longer but um, I woke up this morning they were all out of the fence so I put them here I guess they were ready to be moved and um, really excited to put them on you and they love it they love this grass this morning was all frozen all the grass was frozen but yeah cattle doing well well hi Bella how are you doing how are you doing are you doing well imagine you walking somewhere and all you saw was food that's how they feel hey Lizzie you doing all right she's become one of my favorite cows um, her horns are not very typical they're more like a motorcycle handle <laughs> but I, I just love her she has been a first-time calf um, um, what do you say kaffir like yeah her calf this year was her first and it has been it, it grew the best out of all of them and she's a good size heifer first-time kaffir good size um, also because I um, led a bull to her fairly late in her life but I really like that I think it might be worth it to wait um, half a year extra in comparison to her you have um, Lisa who is right now uh, yes she's right there 
standing there by the greenhouse next to the greenhouse she's also had the first calf that was actually the calf that was born um, the very first calf that was born that I made the video about um, where we where we were surprised first calf born um, calf is much smaller than uh, Lizzie's calf and she is also much smaller she is about a year younger um, and has a first calf she's a year older has a first calf so big difference big difference in just waiting this and you know with these cattle it's not like these modern breeds where with 10 years you get rid of them they these guys can have 15 16 calf in their lifetime 17 even like oh up to 20 21 years old um, this cow breed has calves so it's actually a few days later um, the bedding got super warm um, was really really perfect the chicks loved it they spread out even it's um, very cold we have had freezing nights and the air is really cold but still they spread out here not just under the lamp because of the deep bedding that was so um, warm it has um, cooled down a bit again because um, because of um, the moisture being gone I didn't add crazy much water I added um, two times ten liters of water to this all but um, if you would add more moisture to it you know and stir it it would produce heat for a much longer time but it's quite amazing and that this works I just added the thermometer here and in a second I'm gonna check on um, check on it how warm it actually is under here so there's no lamp here right now right now I have the infrared lamp remember I use a ceramic lamp when they get older um, have made lots of videos about that as well and um, the main reason is that they get their normal rest at night when it's dark that they don't overeat and um, you know if, if they have the light on all the time they don't have this natural cycle and they eat too much and then they can actually um, underdevelop some um, things like toes and so on. So this has been here now for a few minutes, five to ten minutes, and as you can see, um, it shows 25 degrees. Um, I think that it was probably um, close to 35 um, the last days. Like I said, it has cooled down a little bit, but this is amazing. You're again letting nature do the work for you. It's a composting process and which is beneficial for you anyways you will use this I will use this later on my hay fields and um, layer it on top but it produces heat which is again good for these chicks and um, I can raise them pretty much in um, without heat um, if I do this the right way now I have this um, lamp still but um, again this temperature in here the air is um, just a few degrees above freezing it's very cold and has been very cold and um, in this ring we have these temperatures and now this would work the same way in other deep beddings if you do it the right way you need the oxygen in it and you also need the right amount of moisture it won't rain enough for the ground water levels to change but um, better than nothing right we could use four, five, six, seven inches of rain here, no problem. So, I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay warm if you live as far north as we do. Bye bye.